Jason from the Ember Days had approached me, I guess back in September of last year, and just had this idea of like, let's do a come and live tour in New Zealand. I put out the idea of doing this tour in New Zealand and that it was a dream of mine. I didn't have to twist anyone's arm to come to New Zealand. Like, it's a very incredibly beautiful country. The realist in me comes out, and so when I first heard Jace talking about it, it just, like, I didn't know if it would really happen or not. The idea of going to New Zealand was very challenging. We'd never even done a real tour in the US, let alone trying to pull something off all the way across the world. So far, everything in Come and Live World is an interesting process. It's just learning to depend more and more on Jesus, and that's not an easy task. It's just awesome, everything came together. Got to tour my country with like some of the most awesome people on the planet. I had no idea what to expect, what it was gonna be like. I, I figured, I assumed, I knew that that guy was gonna show up and do some sweet things. I definitely didn't expect what happened though. I think I went into it with a pretty open heart. Um, you know, just praying that the Lord would do whatever, whatever he wanted, but I was praying specifically to see miracles. And a part of that is just with the way I've grown up. I've grown up in a very conservative church. Um, like you didn't see praying for healing in church. Seeing constant prayer for physical healing um, and belief for that and seeing the Lord do powerful things since I've been at Come and Live was something that I was praying specifically to see on this trip. It sounds lame to say, like I didn't have specific, like I think God wants to do this thing. What I had was a sense of God wants to continue what he's already doing. And that pretty much all comes down to the fact that we are finally honing in on what it is that we bring to the table. I was billed as the speaker for the first half of the tour, which I was really excited about because it's something I'm passionate about, but not something that I feel I'm naturally gifted at. Unlike Chad, who's very outgoing and very talkative and can just go and go, um, I'm more of the quiet type. While I felt like I had a lot against me and a lot of things that I was nervous about, I was also really excited. And I also knew that if I did suck, then I could just leave New Zealand and come back to Nashville which is on the other side of the world and never see any of those people again. I think I probably felt more this way going into New Zealand than I ever have before. But many times when I go out to a festival or when we travel or when I speak at a church, I always feel this sense of, of just like a place of uh, not necessarily insecurity, but a real place of, man, if God doesn't go out before us, I don't think we're gonna have much to give to anyone. Like, uh, just a real sense of awe in how much we need God.